G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and this is the showcase and the announcement of the winners or the finalists to the July 2017 challenge of the month. I say finalists with mystery in my voice because ultimately the choice of who wins is in your hands this month. And I'll get to that later in this video, but I want to start off by first of all, thanking everyone who participated. There was a huge number of entries, over 1800 entries to this challenge of the month, which is amazing. Those of you who are interested go check out the slideshow. The link is in the card and in the description to go see the amazing talent contributed this month. The theme of this month's challenge of the month was Arty Outfit, where participants were encouraged to create an artistic t-shirt design. Before we leap into the showcase of this month's challenge of the month, I want to quickly give one last plug to the Game of Thrones t-shirt that I made. It's ending this week, so go check it out. The link's in the card and in the description. This shirt is the Graphite Throne shirt. I made it as a limited edition design because I'm super into Game of Thrones and, well, art supplies. So if you're into both of those things, go check it out and nab one for yourself. Otherwise, it's time to jump into the showcase of this month's challenge of the month. Starting off our showcase with a piece by Sylvia R with a depiction of the Deathly Hallows created by Art Supplies. Anganoon's piece of the pen being mightier than the sword is a really nice design. I love the silhouette of the quill and the font of the text. Arnab D's piece called Make Art Not War is both charming and aesthetically really unique and appealing. It has a Banksy sort of feel to it and I love the colors in it. Rusty Dusty's piece of the Cosmo skull design with a creative universe of paint dripping from the eyes looks really cool. And Tiny Momo's Happy Little Tree shirt is something I would so wear. I love the cute little tree and the design itself is really appealing and simple. Also I had to, for immature reasons, include Nellis D's picture of the fart shirt with the F crossed out because that spells art, but it's funny because it because farts. <laughs> CK Creative's zombie pencil looks so cool. I love the idea of him holding his own brain, which is of course the eraser. And it's not LOL Art's paint, which is really appealing. I love the way her silhouette edges out on the top left and bottom right, but we have an overall very balanced and appealing design, both in its cleanliness and its use of color. Proximal Dread's piece of weapons of mass creation is a really stylistically appealing design. The design almost looks like a crest and the use of colors and the way they work off of each other is really well done. Craft Girl Triple One's Majora's Mask with an arty twist piece is really cool. I wouldn't be brave enough to print this as an actual t-shirt due to being worried about copyright infringement, but at the same time, I love the way that the art supplies have been implemented throughout the entirety of Majora's Mask. It's a really cool balancing of both fandom and creative art supplies. Cam 120's piece called Respect Your Elders is a really subtle but nice joke. I love both the effective, simple simplicity of the piece and of course its message and gag. And we're getting a double whammy here because not only are they traditional art supplies but they're also obviously very well used and I guess you could say experienced. <laughs> Forrest Wolfie's piece Art Time is a twist on Adventure Time replacing Finn and Jake with a crayon and eraser. And Nellis D's Eat Sleep Create Repeat is another example of how simplicity can be so effective especially when it comes to t-shirt design. And the way this design I think would speak for a lot of people people's mentality and passion for creating is really effective and well pulled off. Blender Ninja's piece called Whale, which has a whale emerging from a canvas with the sub caption art is alive, has a really unique style to it. I love the subtlety and the way it's implemented on the t-shirt. And Alicia P's creative explosion piece is another example of effective simplicity with these really cute characters emerging from the tip of a fountain pen. Hannah Dorickson's anatomy of a pencil shirt is really cool. I also like the conveniently fractured graphite in the middle and of course this area is prohibited in the eraser and the world's greatest short-lived eraser lots of little creative inside jokes there and a nice use of the anatomy of idea i'm not a psychopath 118 created a piece called sketches come to life with a sketchbook and characters surrounding it i love the whimsy of the design the effective use of simple shapes and silhouettes in combination with color and really nice composition to create a design that's appealing and easy on the eye and lemorale's work Art Warts, the School of Art and Creative
creativity depicts a redesign of the Hogwarts crest with art supplies in the different houses, another great example of mixing fandom with a creativity centric design. Citrusex obnoxious but consistent shirt is something I absolutely loved of course, it's a nod to my Passepartout videos and I really liked the silhouette of the, the character from those videos that I played uh, in this piece. I really kind of wanted to take this and use it as a profile picture or something, I just thought it was fantastic. Or Bernard Art Guy's piece, the artist packaging information shirt, I thought was just so clever. Particularly those little things like fragile and handle with care along with creativity and a few other warnings and description of contents. I just thought it was a really clever way to communicate the creative content of a person wearing the shirt. Luke Trevis's shirt of the arty pencil blueprint is similar aesthetically to the anatomy of a pencil shirt that we saw, but this time it's in a blueprint style. I love the control Z pointing towards the eraser of the pencil and that hand-drawn sketchy look of the design is really effective. And another piece by the same artist, Luke Trevis, created a piece of a very traditional looking artist with a mix of a whole bunch of different art supplies in their beard. This design looks great on the shirt as you can see on the right and also is a really cute and well-crafted aesthetically appealing design in and of itself. I loved the creativity of the entries in this challenge of the month and I love the balance how some of them are really artistically well pulled off and some of them just have fantastic ideas and that's the cool thing with t-shirt design and graphic design. Sometimes the idea is as much if not more important than the artistry used to create it. So I feel like it created a different sort of playing field for people to try their hand at and as you saw in the showcase the level of talent and creativity really speaks for itself. So it's time to move on to the prize categories. The challenge of the month is divided into two categories. People can enter the beginner category if they're very young or new to art and from this category I have chosen a runner-up and a winner. And the runner-up to the beginner category of the challenge of the month is a piece by Ghostly Bears. It's a really simplistic design and a great reference to that iconic moment in the Legend of Zelda games where we learn that, of course, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. There were a lot of different shirt designs that conveyed this moment, but this one captured the perfect balance of simplicity both visually and in its composition. It's a shirt that Zelda fans would recognize and also that arty people would appreciate and I think really strikes that balance between simplicity and effective use of the theme really well. And the winner of the beginner category of the challenge of the month goes to Coralia Morin which is a depiction of the wasted sign from the Grand Theft Auto games which happens of course it's sort of become a meme in and of itself when people sort of fail or make a fool of themselves in an embarrassing way and that mixed with the image of the pencil with a broken tip which is a menial struggle that every artist knows how much of an anguishing moment it can be is such a clever combination of these two ideas into an effective again ode to fandom but also effective use of the creativity theme that we're working with in this challenge of the month. Congratulations to the runner-up of the beginner category you will receive an item of your choosing from the jazzstudios.com shop at jazzstudios.com you can check out a whole bunch of different items that I have up for sale, digital goods like ebooks, video courses, photo references, brushes, my RD Games app and a whole bunch more. It's a whole bunch of stuff I've handcrafted and carefully, lovingly, painstakingly made for your artistic and creative inspiration and enjoyment and education. So go check it out, the link's in the card and in the description. Congratulations to the winner of the beginner category, you will receive a signed copy of my book Draw with Jazza Creating Characters as well as a Stillman and Byrne 5.5 by 8.5 Epsilon series sketchbook. And along with one item of your choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop, you will also receive six months of free premium Skillshare.com membership. Skillshare is an incredible website with over 14,000 classes in illustrating, drawing, design, and more. And they have a special offer for Draw with Jazza viewers where a premium membership usually costs $10 a month, but you can use the coupon code JAZZA5 or click the link in the card or in the description to get two months of premium access completely free. You need a credit card to sign up and claim those two months, but you can cancel before the end of those two months and you won't be charged a penny and you can access the entirety of their platform. They have a huge amount of awesome educational resources. And one of them is a course that I made that I'm hoping you will enjoy. It's a course on how to build an audience and monetize your YouTube channel. I, as a professional YouTuber, do this for a living and I break down all of the nitty gritties in how you can build 
a channel and an audience and an income from YouTube yourself. So go check it out. Link is in the card and in the description. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived to the announcement of the open category finalists. Now, this is going to be a bit different, where usually I have a pool of finalists and I choose a winner and a runner-up. This time, we're just going to have three finalists. So I'm going to jump straight into revealing the three finalists of the open category of the challenge of the month. You can see a piece by Tyscope, which depicts the Avengers in art supplies, those colors effectively incorporated into those different art supplies. Such a clever way to convey, again, that mix of fandom and appreciation and love for art and art supplies. Beyond that, it's a fantastic example of how using really clean and simple designs can be a very effective way to create an eye-catching and inside joke sort of design that a lot of people can appreciate. Then we have the piece by Alexandrowick, which is called Happy Accidents, which has a bit of a silhouette of the Bob Ross iconic face with his catchphrase under it. This is a more interpretive style piece, which works really effectively on a t-shirt design. I love the mix of colors and shapes. It's a really nice use of silhouette and a burst of creativity in a design that works for a shirt that you would glance at and just appreciate for something that looks nice, but then also would be extremely appreciated and admired by people who get it and appreciate Bob Ross. And last but not least, we have CK Creative's piece of the art rampage, where we can see a crayon, a pencil, an eraser, a sharpener, and all of course about to be consumed by the almighty Wacom pen. Not only is this extremely well drawn and something that would look really cool on a shirt, but it also embraces creativity and art supplies with a quirky flair that I think works really well as a solo design and executes on the theme of this challenge of the month really exceptionally well. So now the final choice comes down to you, ladies and gentlemen, there's a link in the card and in the description to the pop-up shop where you can purchase your favorite design if you love it. Every single purchase is a vote for that design. Of course, directly supports that artist and this channel. This is gonna be your one-time opportunity to vote. Each design is available in a zip-up hoodie with a print on the back, in male and female premium shirts, and a kid's shirt, and each of those in, of course, a variety of colors. You guys are gonna choose the order of the winners and they will be turned into a first, second, and third prize. But we have three finalists and the way the winners are chosen are based on sales. If you love the t-shirt design, go grab one because we're going to be selling them for a limited time. 50% of the profits will be going to the artists and not only will they be getting that as a prize, but based on the amount of t-shirts that they sell, the third place winner will also receive an item of their choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. The second place winner will also receive six months of free premium Skillshare membership, enabling access to their many thousands of courses. On top of that, they'll receive a copy of the 21 Draw Illustrator's Guidebook Hardcover special edition signed by me and a Stillman and Byrne Epsilon series 9x12 sketchbook along with an item of their choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. Last but not least, the first prize winner of the open category as based on t-shirt sales will receive, aside from 50% of the profits from their t-shirt design sales, a Wacom Intuos Pro paper edition. This device is an incredible device. The Wacom Intuos Pro are the top of the line of pad tablets out there. Incredibly professional devices. The brand new ProPen 2 boasts over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity and of course the paper edition feature that comes with this tablet enables you to use the Wacom ink pen and draw on paper and instantly create digital versions of your traditional drawings. It's an incredible device. I love Wacom and all of their products so go check them out with a link in the description. They come highly recommended from me and if that wasn't enough they're also going to get an item of their choosing from the jazzestudios.com shop. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm winking a lot these days. Why am I winking so much? Maybe since I discovered I can add the ding in the edit, I've really enjoyed it. The first place winners of the open category and the beginner category will receive one year's full supporter status on newgrounds.com, enabling ad-free enjoyment of the website, username changes, secret content, exclusive previews, and more. So that does it for the announcement of all the prizes and what the prizes are, but the decision of who wins those prizes is now in your hands. Those three artists and designs that I mentioned are prize winners, but which prize they win is entirely up to you. 
Any sale of a design on any of the products available with that design counts as a single vote to that artist. So if you love one of these three designs, this is going to be your one and only chance to pick up this design and support that artist and this channel in the process. Sit back and watch and see who is the winner, which will be announced in the winner video of the next challenge of the month, one month from now. Your decision is final and this is your chance to do it. The judging and selection of these three winners is at the end of the day based on my taste and I tried to be as objective as possible and pick what I thought were fantastic shirt designs, whether I thought I loved them or would buy them or not, but I mean, I actually really love them and I've already bought one of each. So <laughs> my huge thank you to everyone for participating and the talented people who are the finalists. My congratulations to you, but uh, it's uh, still a bit up in the air as to what you win. And uh, it's it's kind of intense. I've never done a, a halfway announcement and then left the rest up to you guys before. So it's in your hands. I'm gonna put the link to the shop in the top line of the description. Go check it out. If you love it, get it and cast your vote and we'll see what comes out on top. I wanna to take a moment to thank the sponsors of this challenge of the month who make these challenges so exciting and enticing with their awesome prizes. And the reason they're a part of this challenge is because I really love them and believe in them. The links to all of them are in the description. That's it for this month's challenge of the month, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, those final announcements will come one month from now, so stay tuned. But in the meantime, the theme of the next challenge of the month will be announced in the next video up on this channel so stay tuned but until next time I'll see you later make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and while you're at it check out my shop where I sell ebooks brushes photo references video courses and more there's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there and you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel daily jazza that's it for now and until next time I'll see you later